Hi, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic. Um, well, I'm going to try and do just that in a moment. I only have about 15 minutes, so I'm hoping this crossword isn't going to be too difficult today. Uh, let's actually, we can press stats. This is something you can do and have a look. So the first name I recognise, I believe the time of, is Moan there. I think that's John McCabe, 6.53. Now that's actually quite a slow time for John. And Jason James there at 8.51 is also a real time. So maybe this, uh, this will be harder than uh, I hope. Um, but without further ado, let's take a look at it. If the internet works. Right, indication of virtue by low down element. Mm, no, that means nothing to me. Researcher not genuine, back on the job. No. Test comprehended by unusual three or six footer. Okay, well, I'm helped here. Unusual three makes me think of an anagram of three. And you can see we've got, so it's clear what the wordplay is to me. That I need a word that means test, probably that's four letters long. And that's going to be comprehended. It's going to be inside an anagram of the word three, and the whole thing will mean a six-footer. Now, six-footer may immediately make you think of, I suppose, a couple of things. One, one is a six-foot person. The other is a six-footed insect. However, neither of those things is useful here. We have to interpret six-footer in a poetic sense. So a poetic form of verse that has six metric feet would be a hexameter which is an anagram there of three around exam for test. That's that's pretty hard, um, but it does give us some useful letters. Let's try and use the X. Back in jail, prisoner no longer accepting one set of terms. Okay, well that X is extremely helpful here. So back in jail, that's just the back letter in the word jail. That's an L. Prisoner no longer, well that could be an X con. Oops, XCon, accepting one, so let's put one in the middle of that, or an I, and a set of terms, well that's a lexicon, so okay, that's that X was very helpful, that would have been quite difficult, I think, without the X. Let's try this one. Kid endlessly on his Nintendo. I love this sort of clue, it's a very natural surface, and I have no clue what the answer is. Gamer is the first thing that occurs to me. Kid endlessly on his Nintendo. Why would that be gamer? Do lie in chat. Again, quite a clever clue. I mean, I suspect this is a word that means chat because do, a short synonym for do in the sense of to have someone is to con them. So con then probably Ten letter word for lie to give a word that means chat conversation con that gives us an N in this one. Kid endlessly on his ah gaming. If you're endlessly on your Nintendo, you are ga gaming without the last letter and gaming. Gamine, I'm never sure how you pronounce that. I think it kind of have an E on the end as well, is a word for a child. I think particularly sort of a, a waif or a stray. Okay, so what, now we've got indication of virtue by, ah, the low down is the gen. Low down in the sense of information, a very short synonym for information that you often see in cryptic crosswords is the word gen. I'll look at that at the end if I have time, just to show you that in the dictionary. So this must be halogen then. An indication of virtue is a halo by gen, an element is a halogen. Um, now, what on earth is this? Chemist offering heroin a case of it. Okay, well, I think Otto Hahn was a famous, I think he was involved with nuclear chemistry somehow. Um, so how does this work? Heroin, that can be abbreviated to H, and then A, this, that's this A here, and a case of it means the, the the outside letters of the word heroin, the casing letters of the word heroin, which would be the 
first letter and the last letter, an H and an N, that gives us the harm that we're looking for. So, four down. Flyer's eccentric garment with skin of cheetah. Well, okay, I have got this, yeah. Skin of cheetah, that just must be, again, we've seen it already. Um, it's a way of indicating the first and last letters of the word. So that probably is going to be at the end. A flyer, therefore, must be the definition. Can you think of a flyer that fits this pattern? Um, an eccentric is a nut, as in a nutcase. A garment is a hat, and that gives us nuthatch, which is, again, one of those birds that probably comes up once every couple of months in a Times crossword. A dog turning up is sure to be barking. Well, I suspect this means to be barking. I think it's going to be a word for a dog we're going to reverse, then a short synonym for the word sure. It could be yes or okay. I don't know. Oh, I've looked at that one. I didn't like it. Uh, queen's in bed, somewhat likely to feel sick. Queens. Queen is normally ER, Elizabeth Regina. Can be just a Q though. And I'm, I like squeamish here because that can be to feel sick. Let me just put that in and see if we can justify why it might be that squeamish. So Q, okay, yeah, QU is Queen here. A bed is a seam, as in a mining sense, you might get a seam of ore or something in a in a mine, somewhat, somewhat likely, I think is ish. If you're ish something, you have a sort of, you're somewhat likely to be it. So uh, altogether that gives squeamish, which obviously means to feel sick. Such languages, one caught by Hungary regularly. Okay, well, if you take the regular letters of the word Hungary, you can see in there that even letters are U, G, R. And then one caught by those regular letters. Well, one is so often I. Caught is C. And that's from a cricketing scoreboard. Uh, you can see, you know, you know, bold Anderson caught, I don't know, swan or something like that. So that gives us Ugric, which I think is the name of a group of languages. Um, I'm just trying to see if we've got any good letters. Maybe this one, the C. Firm's head without assurance for fair competition. Coconut shy. Firm. A firm is very often a co or a company. So firm's plural is two abbreviations for the word company. Your head is your nut. If you're without assurance, you are shy. Um, and that coconut shy is obviously a competition you might find at a fair. So that gives us a C in this one. Research is not genuine. Back on the job. Still don't understand that one. Uh, let's look at this one. Improvising gin rummy cutting card. Oh, that's a very clever clue. Uh, so the answer here is a synonym for the word improvise and gin rummy is beautiful because it's actually the word rum can mean strange so if something is rummy it's slightly strange and therefore rummy can be an anagram indicator and what we need to do here is anagram the word gin and that's cutting and it's inside a word for a card and card here is a wit, as in somebody who is a card, as in a character. And that all gives us wing it, which is improvised. So this is a very beautiful clue, actually, because he, the, the compilers managed to use uh, or create a surface that is very much about card playing, um, using a number of different meanings of words that have nothing to do with card playing at all. Brilliant. Um, so that gives us favourite line put in bold. Okay, your favourite is a darling. Daring is bold. Put 
L for line in the middle of it, and we get darling, which is your word for favourite. What on earth is this? Research, a postdoc. Postdoctorate. Okay, so postdoc must be the answer for a researcher. Not genuine back on the job. Well, a job is a post. Not genuine. Cod is a word for a sham, I think. And that's being reversed um, by the by the word or the synonym for the job here. So postdoc, very difficult. Dog turning. Oh, okay. Ah, this, so I was totally wrong about this. <laughs> Actually, this is a word, a six-letter word, which means dog. Turning up is saying reverse the word up. Let's do that first. Sure to be barking is saying anagram the word sure. And if you do that, you can create the word pursue, which of course is not a type of dog, but if you tail somebody, you would dog them or pursue them. So, very clever. So this one now is confab okay, confabulation, confabulation. That rings a vague bell. I think that conf if you have a confab, you have a, a discussion. So confabulation, I suspect, is the extension of a confab. A fabulation for a lie, it sounds like if something's fabulous, it's probably mythical or made up. So um, fabulation must mean lie and um, difficult. The French, well, it'll be the, the French word for the word the, so it's going to be le or la. Knight, well, that's probably this N. Uh, knight in a chess, in chess notation is the letter N. It could be a, the letter K as well, so we need to bear that in mind. Um, admitted to relative indulgence. Okay, well, if I'm right about le or la and n, we then need a five-letter relative. Now, there are only two I can think of immediately, uncle and niece. And the niece would fit better with this C, so lenience. Okay, lenience, that's going to be right. So this is the French, le, and then knight, this n here, admitted a inside uh, the relative, the niece. Lenience is an indulgence. Blocks view of churchgoers hidden by screens, blindfolds, I presume. Screens are blinds, churchgoers are folds. So blind folds. It's about the easiest clue so far. Uh, swan around with man and wife's kinsman. This must be nephew. Swan around. Uh, a swan is a pen. I can't remember if that's a male or a female swan. I know pen and cob are the two types of swan. Um, so then we've got with man. A man is a he. Wife can be abbreviated to W, put all that together, we get nephew. Ah, gosh, I'm going to have to pause the video here because I need to get on a phone call. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. Uh, sorry about that, I had to do a phone call. Um, now we've just got nephew, so let's have a look at this. Models head in painting by surrealist. Mo there are two ways of reading this. Um, Model's head, with this apostrophe here, does suggest the, the head letter of the word model, which would be M. So if we could put that in a six-letter word for a painting, um, maybe that gives us a surrealist. But the reason I don't like that very much is this word by. Because the way that a crossword clue should read, if the word play is followed by the definition, is that, that, you know, it should be more like, actually, let's look at the clue above, got rid of current measure for gas. So the way I read this is that the first part of the clue is wordplay, and that will give us a word which means gas. The word for here is acting as the link, and it's saying that from one we can derive the other. But the word by is far more positional. So 
I actually suspect that the way to read this clue is that the definition is model and so this is saying model is head in painting i.e. the head letter in the word painting which would be P that seems to be supported by this P here by a surrealist so if I can think of a surrealist that would go six letter surrealist going under this P can I create a word that means model um, I'm thinking Paragon is Aragon a surrealist not sure uh, I don't I don't know it as that but I, it's, it's it feels possible to me so let's have a look at 22 across one acquire one acquiring conviction friends effort is wasted well wasted is very often an anagram indicator if you're wasted you're drunk so uh, how many letters do we need 13 friends effort is 13 letters so this is probably first something one acquiring conviction first offender okay so that does seem to support paragon um, do this one lots of letters in this one shocks in the Spanish exam in kind of US college ah, okay well that's electoral I'm pretty sure I don't quite know why but I can see bits of it that look good so L for the Spanish we saw the French earlier here we've got the Spanish so again this is the Spanish word for the word the that's L uh, shocks ECT <laughs> ECT for shocks um, What's that electroconvulsive therapy or something? And then exam is an oral, so electoral is how that's built up. Is it a tobogganist's arm? <laughs> a tobogganist would be somebody who rides on a luge, so you might describe them as a luger, but a luger, we say it slightly differently, is obviously a gun. So luger is the answer there, very nice. Do some shopping allowed underwear uh, very clever as well I like this the wording of this clue it, um, especially the first four letters are given by the phrase do some shopping now if you do some shopping obviously this conjures up an image of going to the supermarket or the clothes store that's exactly what the compiler is trying to make you think but if you shop in another sense if you uh, uh, you tell the police about somebody, you sing. So this is sing, followed by a word for allowed, which is let, singlet, which is underwear. Very clever. Balance is wrong on TV. Okay, well, this is an easier clue. Um, and the reason I say that is that there are only, I think, two short synonyms for the word TV, and they are box and set. Now here, looking at the letters we already have, it's almost certain, therefore, that's got to be set. And there's only one word that fits now, offset. So wrong, if something's wrong, it's off. TV is a set. An offset, if you balance something, you offset it. So that's how that one works. After forging, had US sent checked. OK, well, again, the word forging here. Uh, if you forge something, you craft it. Uh, you reshape it. So I think this is an anagram of the letters had, us, and sent. And the whole thing will mean checked. And sometimes if you can't solve an anagram immediately, it's you know it's worth thinking about the part of speech. So checked is so you're hinting at the past tense. So so the anagram probably ends in ed. So that allows us to focus on the other seven letters so staunched is the answer to so check is to staunch or to stem let's do that one passage from Clemenza di Tito well okay if we look inside the letters of Clemenza di Tito uh, you can see the word hidden there is add it add it is a mine passage it comes up quite a lot in crosswords because um, if you look at the construction here, the compiler needs a blank D blank T word, and there's only two, I think, edit and add it. So, you know, I think they get bored of doing edit, so they quite often use add it instead. Uh, which one? This one. 
correct and right fare from Turkey. Hmm. I'm not sure I know that. Um, fare from Turkey. It suggests it's either well, it suggests a Turkish food, Turkish delight, doner. Okay, doner kebab. So that's done for correct. If something's correct, it's done, is it? I don't terribly like that synonym, but R for right, I think, must be correct. So, and fair from Turkey is a donner. So, I think that's likely to be right. Um, soldier to spoil works. Well, hmm. I hope Donna is right because this could be an anagram of the words to and spoil. Works could be an anagram indicator here. So, can I think of a an anagram of to spoil that means soldier. Something ist? Uh, no, I can't. Ah, okay, no. It, this R is correct. A soldier is a para. And to spoil somebody, you pet them. As in, you know, if you spoil a child, you would pet um, or spoil a dog. To pet can be to spoil. So, and works here is in a para works. I think one of the definitions of works is in sort of a wall, which a parapet is obviously a wall. So, I think that is the sense in which this is meant. Now, that gives us two very useful letters, at the end of 16 and 20 down. So, got rid of current measure for gas. Well, okay, a current measure. It's not a measure of the flow of a river, it's a measure of the flow of electrical current, which is an amp. So if I put amp at the end of this, it becomes much more solvable. So we need a word that fits for a start. If you can think of one, you've probably got the answer, which is fire damp. So fired, we got rid of. Amp for current measure, and a gas is fire damp. Um, what's this one? Speaking drunkenly, neglect religious ceremony in confu confusion. If you neglect something, you miss it. And speaking drunkenly suggests some sort of slur or slurred words or homophone. So, mishmash. Ah, okay, it's quite good. If you so, if you missed mass. You missed the religious ceremony of mass, and you were drunk and said that you missed mass. You might say mishmash, <laughs> I think is what's being suggested here. So this must be airship, probably, without looking at the clue. Let's see, means of transport, it looks good, airship, or pretentiousness with it. If you have pretentiousness, you have airs and graces. So airs, and if you're with it, you're hip. So airship. Quite an interesting puzzle. I'm not sure if it's a pangram. Can't see a J. Can anyone see a J? Let's see if it's right. Hopefully. A few interesting words as well, actually. Postdoc, Ugric. Harm for the chemist. That's not easy. Oh, is it right or not? Yes, it is. Okay. Now I'll just have a quick look at the dictionary. So Here's Chambers' dictionary. I have an electronic version of it. Here we go. Gen, general information, the lowdown or inside info. So that's how halogen was being made up. Just, let me just show you gamine. Uh, there we go. So there is a there is gamine, but it has a slightly different meaning. A girl of a pert boyish appearance, whereas a gamine is the street urchin that I I sort of alluded to. Um, oh, confabulation. There you go. Um, chat or the infinitive there being the confab. Let's just check the fabulation. Fabu. It's not expressly listed. I think it was probably in a bigger dictionary than this one. Um, which other clues did I want to just highlight? Let me just go back and have a quick look. Uh, and remind myself. Not hatch hexameter halogen. Greek, mishmash. I think that was all. Maybe maybe I've missed one or two, but um, I hope that was useful to those of you who are relatively new to cryptic crosswords. Quite a difficult puzzle today. Quite a lot of unusual words or 
phrases, as I said before. If you enjoy the channel, please do subscribe. We really appreciate that. And we'll be back soon with another edition of Cracking the Cryptic.